hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a wonderful day today i'm gonna do a what's in my planner pouch video and i'm really excited to do this video because over the past couple years i've loved watching these types of videos i do plan on doing a what's in my purse video soon but we're gonna start with this i purchased this pouch about two weeks ago from tj maxx and i just got these pins in from amazon and i'm gonna link these in my amazon store but I love them. They came in two different packs. The butterflies came in one pack and then the flowers came in another. And so this pouch, oh. I think this is a bad spot to put them because I had these flipped and the backing came off with this one, but I thought I didn't have it on tight enough. So I'll move that one over in a minute. But this pouch I purchased from TJ Maxx and here's the tag, it was $7.99, a really great deal. The only thing is that um, there's no organization, it's just like a big hole, there's no pockets or anything, but that's fine with me. And the brand is Nicole Miller, New York. And also, it has these buttons on the side to where you can kind of expand it. I prefer the look when it's kind of clipped on. But this is how it looks. And it's a lot easier to zip it once it's open like that. So here's how it looks when it's opened up. Okay, so let's get into what's in my planner pouch. The first thing I have back here is um, gel pens. It's a 30 count from U Brands. And I bought this from Target. I'm gonna see if Amazon has it so that I can link it below. And I haven't really used those yet, but I really do wanna use them, so I made sure I put them in this pouch. I have my Zebra Mild Liners. I love these Mild Liners. I wanna get another backup pack. So I have that in there. Next up, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for weekly planner videos if you're enjoying this video so far. On the bottom, I'm just going to grab these. The pins came with two extra backings, so that's I just left them in here so that I wouldn't misplace them. I have stickers in here. I'm trying to find all of them. So I did a couple stickers and then two sticker packs from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. And I wanna use this one next because I've been loving like summer themes and watermelon and I love the gold foiling on that. So I have stickers in here. These This pouch is mainly for my daily devotional and my prompt journal. So I use stickers in my prompt journal and I use washi tape in my, no, I use stickers in my daily devotional and I use washi tape in my prompt journal. And then I'm going to store all of my washi tape page markers in here. I have to make more, but these are the ones I made so far. So that if I'm out, like, if I'm out on the porch, I can grab this bag. I have my, my washi tape with me if, in case I want to switch which type of washi tape I'm using. I have some white sticker paper in here so that if I want to draw out, like, a title or a quote or anything, I can write it in here and it's the perfect width so that even if I'm using my wider prompt journal, um, I don't have to worry about sizing. I know that this is the widest I can do it. And if I want to make it slimmer, I can. And what I usually do is hand letter and then I cut it out. So in my Hobonichi weeks, I did that with one of the decorations. Where is it? Okay. So I did the same thing here. I just hand lettered Summer Fun with the heart and then I cut it out. I cut the border out and then just stuck it down. So I have a couple sheets in there. And then I have a bunch of page markers and I love storing them here because for some reason, um, I find these easy to lose because I don't have an exact place to put them. So even one of my Planet Shar page markers, I'm not sure where I put it. I know it's in this room somewhere. And so I'm going to look through my Moturn boxes 
and to see if I can find it. But I love having all of these in one place. So these three are from Planet Shar. These three are from Aloe's Creative Corner. And then these are from Simply Create Doodles. And I want to add photos to all of these. I'm not sure what that is, but I love this one. And then I have post-it notes in here, just in case. Just a white stack. And then this is a collection from Target. I'm not sure if they're selling this anymore. They had a huge um, collection of different um, kind of printed post-it notes. They're by the post-it brand. So that's the one, one of the ones that I kept. And then I have pens and highlighters. And this is the one that came out. So I'll replace that. I have the back of the pen that came out so I have three jelly roll gel pens and that's for my daily devotional I hand letter my titles and then I go in and highlight it with white and then I have three U brands felt tip pens I try to pick um, ones that I don't like I don't love this design so I just keep it in here in case I go out on the porch and I don't have my pen with me I can just grab from one of those and then I have three gray mild liners i bought a 10 pack of these i believe and so i have a bunch of gray mild liners because i like using these in pretty much every planner my main planner i use it in my daily devotional to highlight the scripture and highlight notes just the word notes and then i use it in my prompt journal to highlight the question or the prompt so that is everything let me move everything over this is what it fits and it has plenty of room to, not plenty of room. It has some room to fit more, but this is everything that fit inside of it. And then let me go ahead and place this. I think I'll put it here. Let me just poke it through and kind of press on the two sides. And just press it in. And I'm also gonna switch this out because this belongs to the okay. And I'm gonna quickly pack everything back into here. And then for my stickers, I, I think I'm going to try, instead of pre-decorating my daily devotional, I'm going to try to pick um, a few sticker kits and then for the month. So then every day I can pull from the stash and decorate day to day. And then the tumble dual tip brush pens, they fit in here as well. So I'll just throw a couple in here. So my plan was, like I said, to have a few collections. So maybe this month I'm using four collections so I can have four different ones. And then I can match up the colors that I want and they'll just be in here ready for the current month. Okay, and so that's how it looks. But this uh, was a great quality pouch, for, especially for the price. And I love these pins on here. I love how that looks. And to snap the side, you kind of have to have it open and just pinch it. Okay. 
Okay, there it is. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.